Tim Gordon this morning. Good morning, Miss Diane. Join a little bit of Tim Gordon this morning. Reconciled. Amen. Brother Tim and them are doing fine as far as I know. I got back in from India. Uh, they're settling in. I uh, saw that they were down at Faith. Uh, the other day, he preached down there a couple of Wednesday nights ago. Uh, enjoyed that. I got a, while we're getting folks on here, uh, I was looking through uh, some trivia books. This is uh, Bible trivia. And I, now, these are some that are not to be taken. I got one for you here in a minute. But this is, uh, well, good morning, Miss Sarah. Not to be taken seriously. All right. This is uh, Bible trivia. Not to be taken seriously. So that ought to. I mean, everybody will know this one, so it'll kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. Uh, what kind of lights did Noah have on the ark? What kind of lights did Noah have on the ark? Now, it's kind of hard for me to sit here and talk a little bit and wait for somebody if they want to try to answer. But, uh, oh, here, let me write down this prayer request while you're thinking about this. All right. What kind of lights did he have on the ark? Nobody wants to answer that one. All right. He had floodlights. Come on now. That's funny. Why was Moses the most wicked man that ever lived? Why was Moses the most wicked man that ever lived? Because he broke all ten commandments at once. <laughs> oh, golly. These, these are rough. These are rough. How many animals? This, one, this one's good. How many animals did Noah bring into the empty ark? Morning, Miss Brenda. Uh, lightning bugs. <laughs> funny, funny. Oh, how many? How many animals did Noah bring into the empty ark? Mm -mm. yeah okay like I said this thing is hard to deal with because it's it's uh, so it's lagging so bad none not one because after one it wasn't empty funny <laughs> let me give you one more of the funny ones and we'll I've got a real one for you that I'll we'll, I'll give you here in just a second what character was the mo what character in the Bible was the most ambitious man? What character in the Bible was the most ambitious man? <laughs> it was Jonah. Even a, even a whale couldn't keep him down. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's just bad. 
This is bad. All right, here's the real one, okay? I'm going to give you this one let you think about it, and uh, don't answer right away. We'll come back to it <laughs> at the end. Uh, so just a little Bible trivia for you. So test your, test your knowledge. See if you're reading your Bible. Now, this is not, this one's not real difficult, but uh, this one's a little book called So You Think You Know the Bible. Um, here's the question. And uh, <laughs> thank you, Miss Sarah. I'm going on tour next week. I'll be I'll be here all week. Amen. Uh, so here's the here here's the real one. We'll give you this one, then we'll get to our uh, <laughs> our morning chat. Uh, who was Philemon's runaway slave? Now, don't answer this right away if you know it. Who was Philemon's runaway slave? All right. Uh, so we'll we'll give you a chance to answer that one here in a little bit. All right, good morning. Glad to see everybody this morning. Glad that you're here. Boy, we've got folks from, from all over watching. We've got folks from Mississippi. Uh, we've got folks from, uh, from Kentucky. And just a lot, of, a lot of different places, a lot of different things going on. We're glad that you're here this morning. Uh, hopefully we'll encourage you a little bit. We're looking forward to a great day. It's Thursday. We had a good, we had a good uh, service last night. Enjoyed uh, it's, uh, and thank you, Miss Christie. Yeah, it's uh, it's rough this morning. Uh, enjoyed a good service last night. Had a good time. We had another visit from uh, Brother Adam Walls and Dizzy last night. So uh, our young people enjoyed that. Uh, we'll probably do some more of that in the future. But uh, that that was last night. Had a good time in our Bible study. We were in Psalm one nineteen. So I just had a good spirit, good fellowship, good time of prayer. Uh, we we lifted up several of our. Uh, uh, members and some families uh, in prayer last night and asked the Lord to be with them and continue to bless. Uh, so just had a great time. Had a good service last night. Uh, missed you if you weren't able to be with us, uh, but we, we did. We had a good time. Uh, we want to mention in prayer for just a couple of folks that just continue to remember Brother Larry Case in your prayers. Uh, I know he'd appreciate that. Uh, Brother Marvin Graham, continue to remember him. Uh, we had three different Brodies mentioned last night. We had Brody Spaulding, uh, continue to pray for him. He'll be having a procedure next week. We had Brody Miller, which is friends of, of our family, a uh, little five-year-old boy, found out this week he has type 1 diabetes, so he'll be, uh, that life will be changing for him uh, quite uh, drastically. He's, uh, 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 like I said, five years old. Uh, one of five children of some friends of ours in Florida. Uh, so you pray for the Miller family, uh, uh, Jennifer and Ben Miller, uh, mom and dad, and then Brody Miller's the son that has diabetes. Uh, and then we had prayer for uh, the third Brody. Uh, that was Miss Jenny's sister's uh, family. Uh, so you pray for them. It was her and her husband, Jennifer and Ken, uh, and and for his father, Mr. Brody, uh, who is having some health issues and had to move in with them. So uh, several Brodies yesterday, I thought that was, was interesting. Pray for the Jacos uh, while they're not with us. Pray for uh, Miss Kay Barnes. They'll be traveling tomorrow uh, going out of town. So you pray for them while they're traveling. I think we have others that will be traveling uh, as well. Uh, so do remember them. Uh, in your prayers also so just lots of things going on had a good visit had a good meeting last night with our finance committee uh, things are, are going well with financially with the church we're thankful for that uh, i keep saying that I, i'm I, i'm gonna say it until people stop <laughs> unless people stop giving then we'll start we'll change our tune <laughs> god's been really god has been been really good to us we're thankful for the blessings that he's been so uh, that's just so good uh, to our church. We're looking at doing some different things and uh, just going to be able to, to upgrade some stuff and, and just trying to take care of ministry, trying to take care of the church and, and do what we can do while we can. So we're thankful for that. We want to upgrade our, our video ministry. We've been doing it all through uh, 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 cell phone and uh, we're looking at upgrading that. And It's going to take some steps to get us there, so we're hopefully... Hopefully going to get there. All right. We, one other thing we, we really need to mention, then we'll get back to it. Oh, if you haven't heard our, our trivia question yet, I'll give it to you again. We've had some that's just come on. Don't answer yet. We're going to get, now get ready because I'm going to give you a chance to answer first here in just a few minutes. 
Uh, who was Philemon's runaway sa- slave? Who was Philemon's runaway slave? Now, again, don't answer yet. Uh, just wait. We'll give you a chance here in just a minute. Uh, VBS, we've been talking about that. and It looks like what we're going to do is we are going to do Vacation Bible School. Uh, the two dates that we're looking at are the 11th or the 18th of July. We're going to do a one-day uh, emphasis for our young people. Uh, we're going to set it up kind of like a night of Vacation Bible School. We'll have snacks. We'll have games. We'll have music. We'll have... Uh, a Bible lesson, we'll have puppets, we'll have skits. We'll, I mean, we're just we're going to do all kind of different stuff uh, that day. So, uh, But we're just going to do one emphasis day. Uh, so we're going to do either the 11th or the 18th. So here's what I need from you. I need, for, I need you to, number one, let me know what day will work best for you. We've got some that are going to be out on the 18th, and, and I understand that. I'm just trying to make sure that uh, we don't have more that's going to be out on the 11th. So just either one of those. If you have young people, anybody under 18 uh, that would like to come and be with us, please let us know uh, because uh, we need to kind of know how many we're looking at and, and what we're going to and if we're going to have enough to, to do it. Um, and then if you're going to be able to help us, uh, adults, if you're able to help. Um, so uh, if you'll let me know so we'll know who can help and who can, can kind of be here to teach classes and music. And, uh, you know, I think we've kind of got some lined up already, but uh, just all the different places that we need to fill uh, for all that. So just a lot of things going on. So Vacation Bible School, we are looking at doing that middle of next, next month which is just a few weeks away. Now, we won't be decorating like we normally would for Vacation Bible School. We will decorate some, but we're not going to go all out like we have. We just, yeah, I don't know. I just, we're, we're just not going to do that much. Uh, we're going to save the theme, the, the, the stuff that we had purchased this year for VBS. We're going to save that for next year, so we'll use that theme next year so it'll give us a whole extra year to plan exactly how we're going to do that. All right, so that's the that's the idea. All right, are you ready? Um, uh, yeah, it's coming up quickly, Miss Christie. It really is. Um, all right, do you have your? Are, are you ready? Don't no, don't answer yet. Uh, don't answer yet. Here we go. Uh, we're going to give you. Okay, you ready? Uh, if you have your answer for our trivia question, um, all right. So who's going to who's going to answer first? Who was Philemon's runaway slave? Now's the time to answer. Uh, so we'll see who, who comes up first, uh, who pops in there with the answer. All right. Uh, I know, uh, Miss Jenny, I know Brother John's got some, some uh, uh, obligations on the 18th. That's why we're looking at the 11th if there's nobody else. Miss Brittany Onesimus, that is exactly correct. Amen. She was on top of it. Amen. Onesimus, uh, that was the runaway slave. Uh, and after now, now folks are coming in. That's right. Onesimus, that was his name. But Miss Brittany got it in there first. Uh, congratulations, Miss Brittany. You you win a an ad, an ad girl. I don't know what you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, so we'll, we'll every now and then we'll do these just a uh, uh, little trivia questions. I kind of like my first ones. Did you like the? Uh, did you hear some of those? Uh, Miss Christie thought they were really good. Uh, let me see if I can find them again. Uh, where were they at? They were in the back here somewhere. Not there. There's not to be taken seriously. Um, oh, they, uh, Miss Katie, you'll know this one. What Bible character may have only been a foot tall? A foot tall. Which Bible character? Oh, well, that's that one's in- interesting. It says Nicodemus, since he was a ruler. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. These are bad. <laughs> Here's another one. How long was Noah in the belly of the whale? I'll give you that one for a few minutes. How long was Noah in the belly of the whale? Hey, man. Just a lot of fun. Hey, man. Uh, just thinking about the Bible. Uh, thinking, about <laughs> th- thinking about some trivia uh, there. 
so do remember this. We're going to read Proverbs here in just a minute if you get your Bible out. Uh, Proverbs chapter 25 is where we're going to be. Uh, we'll be reading here shortly. Uh, so I hope it encourages you this morning. Good to see the Chipmans on here. We missed y'all last night. Uh, so I just want to let you know we're praying for you. Uh, he wasn't. Yeah, there you go, Miss Kay. You got it. No, it was not in the belly of the whale. Uh, that, that would have been Jonah. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> this crazy stuff. Oh, there's some funny ones in there. Some of them just make you shake your head and go, you, you're kidding me. That's just crazy. All right. All right, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 25. You got your Bible out? We're going to read. All right. Now, Miss Kay, how are you answering if you're driving? Oh, nah, mm, 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 I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. All right, Proverbs chapter 25. Uh, we're going to start reading in verse number one. I hope you have your Bible out and you can read with us. Uh, Miss Christie, there you go. All right, here we go. Proverbs 25, verse number one. Let's jump in our reading today. Uh, these are also proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judy, co Judy, Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The height, the, the heaven for height, the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king. And his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. For better it is that it is that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince, when thine eyes have whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive lest thou not know not what to do in the end thereof when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself and discover not a secret to another, lest he that heareth it put thee to shame and thine infamy turn not away. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. As an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. Whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee and so hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a mole and a sword and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather and as vinegar upon nitre, so is he that singeth songs to an heavy heart. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop there were the brawling woman in a wide house. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey, so for men to search for their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Well, if you had a verse there that spoke to you, yeah, <laughs> if you had a verse that spoke to you, uh, if you want to mention it, uh, uh, there was one up here, uh, verse 9 and verse 10 is the one that, 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 I, that stood out to me, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he that heareth it put thee to shame, and thine infamy turn not away. 
Uh, people get to know who, who, is, who can be trusted and who cannot. Yes, Miss Katie, Eli the Shuhite. Uh, Eli, uh, Bildad was also called the Shuhite. Uh, who, who else? Uh, what, what was the other one uh, that slept on his watch? Uh, that's a, be a little bitty feller too. Hey, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know why I came up with them crazy, goofy trivia questions. But anyhow. All right. Glad that you were with us this morning. We're going to pray. Um, we're going to let you get about your business today. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I hope you have a chuckle all through the day thinking about uh, uh, these trivia questions that we mentioned uh, here this morning. Uh, we'll have some more of those come up here and there uh, just to kind of test your uh, uh, Bible knowledge. Uh, most of these, if we'll just read our Bible, we'll get the answers to these in our daily Bible readings. All right, let's pray. Uh, looking forward to a great day today. Father, we're thankful for the day. What a joy just to be able to come together, uh, to be able to join together, fellowship a little bit this morning, kind of focus our hearts and minds, get our get our minds sharp and ready for the day. Uh, I do pray that you'll be with all of those that are about their business today uh, that, that are involved in, in different things. I pray that you'll bless them, keep them safe. Be with our prayer requests that were mentioned, uh, the Brodies that we mentioned today, uh, all three of them. Pray that you'll bless them in a very, very special way. Pray that you'll be with Brother Larry as he recovers. Be with Miss Mar Mary Ellen while she uh, helps him. Pray that you'll be with Brother Marvin uh, and others that are on our prayer list uh, uh, of the barns while they travel. Uh, I pray that you'll be with them. Help us as we look forward to Sunday, getting things prepared and ready. Pray for our Vacation Bible School Day, uh, that you'll help us as, and get preparation done and, uh, and be ready for uh, that day as well. Father, we love you. We're thankful for all that you've done. Thankful for your grace and your mercies. Father, as we learned last night uh, from Psalm 119, I pray that you'll give us a longing for the Word of God, uh, that you will give us bountifully those things that you know that we need, that you see in our hearts. Learn to teach us, help us to grow, help us to be exactly what you would have for us to be. Father, I pray that you'll be my counselor, uh, that you will be everything that, uh, that I need today. We love you. Thank you for your grace and your mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Uh, <laughs> Brother Jim, be careful there, young man. All right. <laughs> Amen. Uh, that last verse he's talking about, the last verse there, uh, where it says, <laughs> not the last verse, what? Uh, verse 24, it is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. Uh, I like the way he put it, better in attic than with a crazy woman. <laughs> Amen. All right, Brother Jim. You, you go You go careful. You're going to have a knot on your head. Uh, anyway, good to have, see you all today. Let's, let's, let's send you out with a little bit more, Brother uh, Tim Gordon. Uh, boy, I enjoy his singing. Uh, I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy me some Gordons. All right. side. God bless you. Have a great and wonderful day.